Hello friends, welcome to Crack Gate CSE and in this series of algorithm we are continuing with our hashing topic and today we will be discussing what is quadratic probing and how to solve a particular question, how to find out the number of collisions using the quadratic probing collision resolution technique, right? So before starting this particular video, I would like to request you all if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever I am uploading any new video. And in the end of the video, do not forget to like the video and share it with your friends, right? And uh, please provide me your feedback or suggestions in the comment box. So now let's start with the quadratic probing. So this quadratic probing is a open addressing approach for collision resolution technique. So we know that I already discussed that in the previous video. Now let's see how to solve this particular question. So in quadratic probing, we will be probing in quadratic manner. Unlike linear probing where we are going one by one, one after the another. So he will be here, I we will be probing in quadratic manner. So this is an example here m is given as 10 that means the size of the hash table will be 10 which is ranging from 0 to 9. This is a hash function which is given h key key mod m c1 c2 are two constant values this will be given in the question so it is 1 here the both the values are having 1 keys these are the keys that we have to uh, map to this particular table and here it is told that we are having a collision resolution technique as quadratic probing so this will be given in the equation that whether you are using quadratic probing or you have to use the linear probing it will be mentioned in the question so as per this collision resolution te technique we would be knowing that what particular formula which particular formula we have to use in finding out the number of collisions or in mapping the keys to the hash table right so the formula for the quadratic probing is h of key that is the hash function plus c1 a constant i will be the value which is ranging from 0 to m minus 1 c2 is again a constant and i square so this i square is responsible for quadratic probing right mod m this is this nothing but the mod 10 right now we'll be checking for each key values then that to which particular sort we have to fill it right so first of all i'm starting with 25 so key is 25 i is initially 0 so first of all go to this hash function h of key so key is 25 h of key will be key mod m 25 mod m will be 5 so it is 5 i is initially 0 so this will be 0 this will be 0 mod m is 10 so it is 5 that means this 25 can be filled at the fifth slot so we will be filling 25 over here right so 25 is done now move on to 80 again use this particular formula 80 comma 0 80 go to this function 80 mod m is 0 so this is 0 initially i is 0 so these two values are 0 mod 10 then the remainder will be 0 that means we will be mapping 80 with 0th place right so this 80 is done now come on to 95 so 95 comma 0 95 mod m is 5 and i is initially 0 so 95 comma 0 is 5 but we are already having 25 at fifth place that means there is a collision so we can say there is one collision now again we are moving on to the now we are incrementing the value of i from 0 to 1 so we will be finding 95 comma 1 so this 5 will be same here c1 is 1 i is 1 so this is 1 c2 is 1 i is 1 so 1 square is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so this time the value is 7 that means we can map 95 to the seventh slot so 95 will be here right so 95 is done similarly go to 50 50 comma 0 is 0 that means we are having a collision because it is already here so we are applying the same formula for all of these key values right so if there is a collision we are incrementing the value to 1 now we will be finding out it is 2 that means we can store the 50 at second place so i am storing 50 at second place so here also i am getting one collision for 50 value right now go to the next value which is 23 23 comma 0 is 3 that means it can be mapped to third place so this is okay no collision 77 comma 0 70 comma 7 comma 0 will give you the remainder as 7 so 7 is already 95 that means it cannot be 
mapped so we will be incrementing value of i that is 77 comma 1 now we will, we will be finding it is 9 that means the 77 can be mapped at the ninth place so here also i am getting one collision similarly go to the 85 to 23 and 77 is done 85 85 comma 0 is 5 which is already filled so not possible incrementing the value of i 85 85 comma 1 is 7 7 is already having 95 so again we are getting collision for the same key value so again incrementing the value of i so instead of 1 it is 2 now if you check for 2 it is 1 so 1 is empty so i can save 85 over here so how many collisions for 85 2 collisions for 85 now we will check for 20 20 comma 0 is 0 it is already here 20 comma 1 is 2 50 is already here 20 comma 2 if you use this particular formula is 6 6 is empty so i can fill 20 over here so two collision for 20 also now check for 97 97 comma 0 is 7 not empty 97 comma 1 is 9 not empty 97 comma 2 is 3 again not empty 97 comma 3 is 9 again not empty so if you find out like this up to 97 comma 9 you will be getting all these repeated values again and again that is 7 3 9 9 7 these values will be repeating that means here we are getting maximum m collision so what is the value of m is 10 so we will be getting 10 collision and this particular 97 will not be stored in table so it will be not stored in table so they can ask you a question that out of these particular keys which particular key is not able to be get stored in a hash table so then you have to answer it as 97 and if they are ask, asking that how many total collisions are possible using this quadratic probing then you have to sum up all these collisions that is 10 plus 2 12 14 15 16 17 so we can say that we are having 17 collisions right so this is how you can find out the number of collisions now let's go to the theory part so here we are not visiting space outside like we was doing in chaining because we are not having any linked list idea over here so this is an advantage of quadratic probing we are probing in quadratic manner because of this i square searching insertion deletion time is order of one in best case and order of n in worst case because it may happen that you keep on searching and we get the value at the last position or in the last iteration so in that case this can be applicable now if you delete any particular value let's say i'm deleting 77 so i'll after deleting 77 let's say i'm introducing a new symbol hash to store so if you store this hash over it it will not create any difficulty while searching a particular value similarly if i delete so many values like if there are so many hash symbols then what we can do we can rehash this particular uh, keys so that there will be more efficient searching so all this uh, well, uh, all this storage of the hash or is any special symbol is done to make sure that there is no difficulty while searching the element right so in the one of the video after this i will be discussing uh, double hashing and after double hashing i will be discussing primary clustering and secondary clustering which is the drawback of linear probing and quadratic probing we will be seeing that how these two problems can be resolved in the double hashing so uh, stay tuned for this particular videos and do not forget to subscribe the channel so thank you very much for watching and in case if you are having any doubt any query related to any subject or problem yeah, I will give you my Facebook links or uh, Facebook group and Facebook page link so that you can ask your queries over there. The links are given in the description. So check the description for all those important links. So thank you very much for watching. Keep supporting. Keep learning. Have a great day.